course, yesterday at 4.30, uh, uh, Kensington Palace released an extraordinary, very beautiful, very moving family video uh, from uh, Kate, uh, the Princess of Wales, in which she's talking about how she has finished her chemo, talking about her cancer journey, what's mattered her through this period. Incredibly poignant, very, very beautifully shot, Hollywood style, um, and, uh, and uh, basically saying, you know, she's not cancer-free, because, of course, that could take a very long time to find out, even if you do ever find it out, but showing, well, really, just the battle she's been through. Let's talk about this with Charlie Ray. He's former royal editor of The Sun and a close royal watcher still. Uh, good morning to you, Charlie. Good morning, Julia. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm, I've had a lot of friends going through cancer. I'm, I'm, I'm of their age, you know, this is, you know, friends and family well, uh, over the years, as we all will have had. Um, and I have to say, I'm, I, I, I was really surprised by the tone of this video. I think it was very beautiful. It was clearly, you know, Hollywood style, very expensive, epic video. It was very beautiful. It was very heart moving. It was very poignant. But the main feeling it left me with, despite this young woman saying that she's finished her chemo and it should be a moment of joy, was of sadness. What was your mm. reaction? It, it, it is sad, the fact that she's still not clear of cancer. And as you quite rightly said, she may never know that she's ever going to be clear of cancer. Uh, but I think the, the point of the video, uh, as was with the king when he announced he had cancer, was to try to inspire and give hope to others who are going through this battle. It doesn't matter whether you're high-born or low-born, as you well know, Julia. Uh, cancer is a dreadful, dreadful disease, and it affects from people from yeah. all walks of life. Now, if this gives a bit of inspiration to just one person, then the, the job is done. And it was a nice video. It was nice to see mm. a happy family. When yes. we keep on hearing, when we keep on hearing uh, that, uh, you know, many members of the royal family are cold and callous and don't like each other, this is the opposite of it. And I, and I think it does give inspiration to, to other people. Mm. And it's very noticeable, you know, that it's not just her and her husband. I mean, it was very lovely to see the affection between her and William, actually, um, and, and clearly with the children, and, and also her parents, of course, who keep, you know, they turn up to all the big functions, dress appropriately, don't say a word, just get on with it. They've done, you know, they've done that, their sort of, you know, uh, parents of the future queen role uh, absolutely yeah. perfectly, as she has done hers. And look, you know, you know me, you know, I'm a, I'm a long-standing Republican. I've got no, no feelings anti these individual people. I'm a, you know, I, I just, I'm, 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 a, I'm a Democrat. Here's the thing, though. You know, Kate's always done the job. She knew the deal. She signed up to it. She's done the deal. She never, she never explains. She never complains. She's, you know, she just, she know, she, you know, she is absolutely perfect in that job. And the main thing for me as a mum is that, you know, she's a mum of young children, sure. and you would not sure. wish this on any. It doesn't matter how many palaces you own. You can live in a palace or on a council estate. You've got young children. A young mum going through cancer is, is just just an absolute devastating thing to happen. Um, but in terms of like the, the way they've chosen to do this, there was all that criticism of, of, of Kate for sort of, you know, photoshopping photos of her with the kids and criticism of that. And then she did a video explaining, you know, about, about her health. It feels like she's sort of been dragged sort of into the public eye when she doesn't want to be there. This has been her choice to do this. And they've clearly, you know, brought in top-notch people to do this film, to edit this film, to, uh, to, to style it. Um, why do you think they made that decision? Um, because I think it's probably the best way for them to get, you know, to feed the 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 the, the thing to uh, as many people as possible. This, yeah. this video, as you quite like say, is professionally shot, and it also underlines that cancer is not just for the victim or the person who's suffering from the yeah. cancer. It's for the family. The family behind the person who's suffering from cancer is so so important, as this clearly shows. I mean, we have a devoted William. There is no doubt about that. We have three beautiful children. I, I know it's all sort of ho hoppy poppy and all that mm. sort of stuff, but it, the message is still is still the same, and yeah. it's nice to see. And also the other thing I think as well, that is, as in days gone by, where you had when Prince Andrew was a working royal not supporting Fergie at things he should have done, mm. and Charles not supporting Diana mm. uh, when he should have done because of the men in the grey suits, Here's a guy who's not going to be bullied by anybody, whether they're wearing a mm. grace or not. You, you, you look at you, touch my wife in that way, yeah. and we are going to seriously fall out. Yeah, well, there's no doubt at all. I mean, over there, there were those topless shots taken out. I mean, outrageously by a paparazzi at long range in a yeah, private yeah. villa of Kate. I mean, the, 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 
uh, there's no doubt at all William went completely quite rightly ballistic about that he's always uh, come out and he and Harry again both very protective of both their yeah. wives on that front um, yeah it was I mean it's really nice look you know I, I just you know I'd really like to have I think I think being in the royal family is a really really tough gig and all that to, uh, all, oh, all that scrutiny and I think you know you need to have that solid family background and that solid relationship to be able to cope with that and again the royals who haven't been able to cope with it you can see the damage that's done but this is so much in stark contrast isn't it with with Harry and Meghan and you know putting out you know the lifestyle brands and selling the book and and, and all yeah. of that it's so different the only thing that was missing and Claire Pearson and I both are going to say the only thing that was missing at the end of that was there was a message for those who are still you know dealing with cancer obviously and that was very you know very thoughtful I would have liked to have seen some links to you know five or six major cancer charities to uh, charities dealing yeah. with hospices or things like just like hey you know what and if this has touched you why not give some money to these charities? Because, you know, I've been lucky enough to have all the family support and the money and the ability not to work and look after my kids still. A lot of families don't have that. I think I think you are right. Uh, but you, you have to remember that both William and Catherine are linked to some cancer charities yeah. already. And I am I am convinced that they will be linked to others in the future. This yeah. now is a cause and a great cause close much closer to their hearts than it than it would have been because they well she's experienced it and he's experienced it as as a result mm. so there'll be more links with these cancer charities and you're right if any all charities deserve as much money as they could possibly raise and get and that is why you have royal patrons because it helps raise the profile yeah. uh, of them. I mean, when you think of the days gone by when Diana was doing it, she, well, I say she was charging, they, they were charging $10,000 a plate in America just to sit behind a pillar so yeah. that they could just get a glimpse of yeah. her. That charity earned an awful lot of money. And I think we're going to see the same, uh, you know, with William and Catherine. Yeah, absolutely. Charlie Ray, lovely to speak to you, former Royal Editor of the Sun. Thank you for that. Uh, Claire Pistol, again, we, we both raised mm. the issue of it, chari cancer charities. Um, but again, I, it's, for me, it was just the it was just something about the tone of the video that it, it was i mean you know it looks very it's very plush it's very yeah. uh it, it's do you know what it's the sort of thing i would have expected megan and harry to do yes. it's very, but do you think this is a big turning point in terms of the pr for the palace that they got new people in and they want to you know and and it's not about exploiting her cancer at all i don't think i'm not accusing anyone of that but just actually you know trying to sort of share a bit more of their family with the nation because a lot of royal watchers want that yeah, I think this shows the direction that the royal family is going to take. And if you consider in that little video clip, you have the next king on yeah. screen and also probably the one after that as yeah. well. So it's showing that royalty is always going to be there. There is the line of succession, but it's changing from its past and changing the traditions. I like the fact that the kids are actually at least having a sort of normal childhood. Yes, this was something, wasn't fun. it, that when Kate and William got together, so they, they, he, he just loved going to her family because it was just normal yeah. family life. You yeah. know, again, you know, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I, you know, no. it really is. Uh,